BrainWise presents Grade 6, Science Quiz B Test 2 Hey, science fanatics! Are you ready to put your scientific knowledge to the test? I've got brain-busting questions lined up for you today. Covering everything from the tiniest atoms to the vastness of space. Stick around to the end to see how you stack up against the rest of our brainy viewers. And don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more awesome science content. Number one, which of the following is not a renewable energy source? A, solar power. B, wind power. C, natural gas. D, hydropower. is C, natural gas. Number two, what is the name of the galaxy that contains our solar system? A, Andromeda. B, Milky Way. C, Triangulum. D, Whirlpool. The answer is B. Milky Way. Number three. Which of these is not a type of plate boundary? A. Transform. B. Divergent. C. Convergent. D. Submergent. The answer is D. Submergent. Number four, which of the following is a major contributor to ocean currents? A, volcanic eruptions. B, earthquakes. C, wind patterns. D, the tides. The answer is C, wind patterns. Number five, what is the name of the layer of the atmosphere where most weather occurs? A, stratosphere. B, mesosphere. C, thermosphere. D, troposphere. The answer is D, troposphere. Number six, what is the main cause of desertification? A, overgrazing and deforestation. B, increased rainfall. C, volcanic activity. D, melting glaciers. The answer is A, overgrazing and deforestation. Number seven, which of the following is a characteristic of the inner planets? A, they are made mostly of gas. B, they have many moons. C, they are relatively small and rocky. D, they have rings. The answer is C, they are relatively small and rocky. Whoa, we're halfway through already. How are those brains holding up? Don't worry, even the greatest scientists get things wrong sometimes. The important thing is to keep learning and keep questioning. On to the next challenge. Number eight, which of these is not a phase of the moon? A, full moon. B, new moon. C, half moon. D, crescent moon. The answer is 
C, half moon. Number nine. During which season in the Northern Hemisphere is the Earth closest to the sun? A, spring. B, summer. C, autumn. D, winter. Number 10. What causes the moon to shine? A. It produces its own light. B. It reflects sunlight. C. It absorbs light from Earth. D. It emits light from its core. The answer is B. It reflects sunlight. Number 11. Which of the following is not a type of telescope? A. Reflecting. B. Refracting. C. Magnifying. D. Radio. The answer is C. Magnifying. Number 12. What is the approximate age of the Earth? A. 4.5 million years old. B. 4.5 billion years old. C. 13.8 million years old. D. 13.8 billion years old. The answer is B. 4.5 billion years old. Number 13. Which of the following is not a layer of the sun's atmosphere? A. Photosphere. B. Chromosphere. C. Corona. D. Lithosphere. The answer is D. Lithosphere. Number 14. Which of these is not a form of precipitation? A. Rain B. Snow C. Hail D. Clouds The answer is D. Clouds You're on fire! Keep that momentum going. Remember, every answer, right or wrong, is a chance to learn something new. That's the beauty of science. Number 15. Which of these is not a step in the scientific method? A. Forming a hypothesis. B. Collecting data. C. Ignoring evidence. D. Drawing conclusions. Answer is C. Ignoring evidence. Number 16. What is the name of the instrument used to measure earthquakes? A. Barometer. B. Seismograph. C. Anemometer. D. Thermometer. The answer is B. Seismograph. Number 17. Which of the following is an example of an abiotic factor in an ecosystem? A. Sunlight. B. Trees. C. Birds. D. Bacteria. The answer is A. Sunlight. Number 18. What is the term for the variety of life found in an area? A. Ecosystem. B. Biome. C. Biodiversity. D. Population. The answer 
is C. Biodiversity. Number 19. Which of the following is an example of a learned behavior? A. A spider spinning a web. B. A bird building a nest. C. A dog fetching a ball. D. A baby crying. The answer is C. A dog fetching a ball. Last one coming up. Give it your best shot. This is your final chance to prove you're a true science whiz. Number 20. What is the smallest particle of an element that retains the properties of that element? A. Atom. B. Molecule. C. Compound. D. Mixture. The answer is A. Atom. And that's a wrap. Time to tally up those scores. No matter how you did, I hope you had fun and maybe even learned a thing or two. Head down to the comments and let me know how you scored. Did you enjoy the quiz? What's your score? Comment it below. If you want more of this content, leave a like and share it to your friend. Please subscribe as well. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell. Also check out other videos from BrainWise.